Hey y'all, Angie Upamata here, realtor with Nora Walden Company in the beautiful Austin area. Today, I'm going to be talking about my top six picks for Georgetown, Texas. I'll also share others in future videos, so let's get into it. First up, Wolf Ranch. This master plan community was carved into the hills of Georgetown alongside the San Gabriel River, which means views and outdoor activity for days. It's located west of IH35, which is just three miles and north of Highway 29. It's 29 miles from downtown Austin and 20 miles from the domain. Another advantage of the location of Wolf Ranch is its easy access to IH35, which can get you to Waco, Texas in 79 miles, where you can visit the silos, and you might get a chance to meet Chip and Joanna Gaines. And if you stop by the bakery, don't forget to bring me back something. You can also take an easy ride to Dallas, which will be about two and a half hours, depending on what part of Dallas you're traveling to. Wolf Ranch broke ground in 2015 and covers over 1,100 acres. It's projected to add thousands of residences by 2030, and this development is well underway of meeting its goal of 2,600 single family homes. This will be one of the largest developments in Central Texas. You'll find both single story and two story homes, resale as well as new construction. Current builders in the community are Lennar, Highland, Perry, Coventry, David Weekly, and Drees Homes. There are a lot to choose from, with options of building a patio home, building a 46, 50, 60, or a 70 foot lot. You can select as much or as little options as you'd like. And each builder offers a little something different, which can fit into every need and every budget. Speaking of budget, home prices in this area range from $370,000 up to well over a million dollars. And these are homes that have been on the market in the last 90 days. Home sizes range from 1,300 square feet to 4,800 square feet, and the tax rate is 2.8%. HOA dues range from $200 to $544 quarterly. And what does that cover, you ask? Well, Wolf Ranch is loaded with amenities. They have a state-of-the-art amenity center called The Den. It offers an indoor lounge, kitchen area for gatherings, office and reception area, conference room, infinity edge pool, a fire pit, playground and large conference area, and an outdoor grill along with stunning views overlooking the San Gabriel River. You can even take advantage of the nature trails and 15 acres of open spaces. There's also a dedicated lifestyle director who plans all of the neighborhood fun. Shopping, dining, and entertaining are all within minutes and can be found in the Wolf Ranch Town Center. Depending on where you live in the community, you can walk or bike there. You'll find shops like Target, Best Buy, DSW, Old Navy, PetSmart, and local shops like Smokey Moe's Barbecue, Just Love Coffee, and Fortune Garden. I also wanted to make mention of the proximity to my most favorite places nearby, which include the most beautiful town square in Texas, Georgetown's downtown, Lake Georgetown, and Georgetown Country Club are all within minutes away. Don't let this town center fool you. It's not all about shops and restaurants. It hosts local vendors for farmers markets, sing-alongs for the kids, and summer kids club events. Now, what about the schools? Well, Wolf Ranch feeds into Georgetown ISD and students would attend Wolf Ranch Elementary School, James Tibbet Middle School, and Eastview High School. Next up, Parkside at Mayfield Ranch. This is a planned community located off of Ronald Reagan Boulevard, US 183, and Leander Road off of 1431. This section of Mayfield Ranch is located in Georgetown, Texas, within Williamson County. It's 26 miles from downtown, 20 miles from the domain, and one of the perks, the best perk I think, to Parkside is that it will be six minutes away from Indigo Ridge. Indigo Ridge will be an urban oasis which will feature 155 acres of mixed use development. It will include office spaces, residential living, retail and dining, a hotel, and recreation uses. Speaking of recreation, the National Tennis Association will also be moving to their location here, which will anchor Indigo Ridge. There will be 40 outdoor tennis courts and six to eight indoor courts. Homes in this area began in the 2000s and there's well over 800 homes. They were built by David Weekly, Highland Homes, MI, Meritage, Standard Pacific, Plantation, Ryland, Lennar, and Wilshire. I know it's a lot. What will it cost you to move to this area? Well, home prices range from $400,000 to $899,000. Taxes are 2.6% and HOA dues are $132 quarterly. HOAs goes towards the community, amenity center, the pool, clubhouse, 
tennis and sports courts, a jogging path, a park, and a playground for the kiddos. Parkside at Mayfield Ranch offers access to nearby amenities, including the Williamson County Southwest Regional Park, which is one of my favorite parks, Lake Georgetown, Round Rock Premium Outlets, Ikea, Costco, Whole Foods, and a host of entertainment. In addition, Parkside is also minutes away from the area's top medical facilities, such as Cedar Park Regional Medical Center and Baylor Scott & White Emergency Medical Center. Students who live in Parkside will go to the highly acclaimed Leander ISD, Parkside Elementary School, Stiles Middle School, and Rouse High School. Cimarron Hills is a private golf and country club community located off of Highway 29, east of 183 and Ronald Reagan Boulevard, and west of IH-35. It's 32 miles from downtown Austin, 16 miles from Round Rock, and 24 miles away from the Domain. Cities like Liberty Hill, Leander, Cedar Park, and Round Rock are close by. One of the cool things about Cimarron Hill's location is that it's just eight miles from downtown Georgetown. If you're looking for some small town action, then this is the place to be. It will be minutes away from the new Bar W Marketplace, where HUB will be located. The grand opening is slated for this fall, which we're all excited about. This is a huge deal for this part of Georgetown and Leander. Whenever HUB hits the scene, other shops and restaurants are sure to follow, which means everything at your fingertips. Cimarron Hills offers homeowners resort-style luxury living that started in the 2000s. You'll find estate homes on the fairway villas with low maintenance living, custom and semi-custom homes. They range from 1,500 square feet to over 5,000 square feet. Let's talk about what it'll cost you to live here. Home prices range from 410,000 to $2.6 million and the tax rate is 1.9%. HOA dues range from $150 to $310 monthly. Those dues go to the social membership, Cimarron Hills Country Club, access to world-class restaurant, a gym, pool, splash pad, sports courts, five tennis courts, and you can also add a golf membership and take advantage of the award-winning Jack Nichols signature course. Cimarron Hills is served by Georgetown ISD and Liberty Hill ISD. Students who attend Liberty Hill ISD go to Rancho Siena Elementary School, Liberty Hill Middle, Liberty Hill High. If students are zoned for Georgetown ISD, they will attend Pickett Elementary School, Tibbet Middle, and Eastview High School. Next up, we got Rancho Siena. This is a master plan community located off of Ronald Reagan Boulevard and south of Highway 29. It's just 28 miles from downtown Austin and 18 miles to Round Rock and 21 miles to the Domain. It's close to Liberty Hill and Leander and not too far away from all of the amenities that are in Cedar Park. You'll find homes that were built by D.R. Horton, Chesmar, Castle Rock, Pulte, Setterly, and more. Lennar and Perry Homes are still currently building and start in the mid, high, mid to high 400s. Homes range from 1,800 square feet to 4,000 square feet and feature extended patios, outdoor kitchens, front porches, and hillside views. Rancho primarily consists of single family homes and two and three car garages. Resale homes range from 273,000 to 930, and the tax rate, 2.7%, and HOA dues are $52 monthly all the way up to $159 monthly. The HOA fees gives you access to the playground, trails, pool, splash pad, dog park, covered pavilion, basketball courts, and 24-hour fitness center. Rancho Siena students are zoned for Liberty Hill ISD and students would attend Rancho Siena Elementary, Liberty Hill Middle, and Liberty Hill High School. Finally, Terra Vista tops off my favorites list for Georgetown neighborhoods. Terra Vista is a planned golf course community located in the Rolling Hills, just east off of IH-35, north of Westinghouse Road, and west of Toll 130. It's 24 miles to downtown Austin and 17 miles to the Domain. This community is spread across two cities, Georgetown and Round Rock. It also has incredible access to everything that you need or want. The Round Rock Premium Outlet, Ikea, HEB, multiple restaurants, a movie theater can all be found less than six miles away. In this golf course community, you can find condos, garden homes, single family homes, and luxury homes that were built by Perry, Meritage, Buffington, Lennar, just to name a few. Homes range from 1,600 square feet to over 6,000 square feet, and prices are 325 all the way to 850. The tax rate is 2.6% to 2.8%, 
and HOA dues are $64 monthly. What's included in the HOA? Well, you've got a trail system, parks, pools, splash pad, sports courts, and a clubhouse. The HOA is also very active and hosts several events throughout the year. TerraVista students would feed into Georgetown ISD and students would attend Carver Elementary School, Tibbet Middle, and Eastview High School. So those are my top neighborhood picks for Georgetown. Did I miss one of your favorites? Are there others you'd like to see highlighted? Let me know in the comments. If you want to know more about Austin and the surrounding areas, check out my other videos. Found this video helpful? Hit that like button. And if you're feeling my vibe, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you don't miss a thing. And I'll see y'all on the next one.